Hi, I'm Fabrizio and today we are going to explain how to SSH using Putty on Windows. Putty is an SSH and Telnet client developed originally by Simon Tatham for the Windows platform. Putty is open source software that is available with source code and is developed and supported by a group of volunteers. Ok, Putty can be used to do a lot of things. It's a really nice program if you want to use a Linux OS from our Windows PC. For example, if we have a virtual machine with the Linux version, we can connect through SSH to our virtual machine from Windows. It's really useful if we want to copy or pass something from Windows but uh, we can pass it inside our virtual machine. With Putty we can do it. If we want to connect to our uh, Putty, this is pretty easy. The first thing to do is uh, to power on our virtual machine with the Linux system inside. In my case it will be Debian 8.3 Now we must open a terminal. Ok, now we must uh, become super user, so we, I type su, enter the password, uh, we must find our IP address typing if config ok this is our IP address now open Putty I have already opened it opened it and without change any settings write here our IP address our virtual machine IP address be sure that virtual mas machine is using NAT as network connection. Here, settings, network adapter, NAT. Okay, uh, and check that the standard port on Putty is 22. If all is correct, open it. So, let's type it. SSH 22 port open ok now if everything goes right you have to insert your username and password to access through SSH to your virtual machine I want to access with uh, my username and my password ok you should have this uh, terminal opened now with Putty. If you are going to use Putty very often, maybe you would you would like to to save your credentials. So you will not need to write every time your your credentials and settings. To do it, go to connection data and write down your auto login username here in my case it's Fabrizio Sta go to back go back to session and give a name to your saved session and click save the first thing to do is insert your IP address if you don't want to to write down it uh, every time ok save here is my my credentials I close and I open again info load ok 
Fabrizio sta Next time you use Beauty, load your session and all will be ready to connect to your virtual machine as you see. If you want to connect to Beauty with an SSA GRSA key security, you must use this program Beauty Gen that allow you to create, to generate encrypted keys to make your connection more secure. You can set a passphrase to avoid a passwordless login and make your security stronger. The first thing to do is download PewTGene from the Beauty website and be sure to set parameters to SSH to RSA with uh, these bits that are default parameters and click on generate now move the cursor inside uh, this blank area because uh, beauty generate uh, rand uh, and randomize our keys with these movements Okay, now, after finishing the randomizing, we can insert a comment, but it, it's not mandatory, and we can insert a passphrase. Now, uh, we must save uh, the public and the private key. The public key, I will call it public save without a passphrase I will call it private key ok now we must create a folder with a file inside and give it access permissions let's open our VM with beauty Okay, we must type this command. Okay, ch mode. And nano create a new file okay inside this file we must pass this code so use copy with CTRLC C and just right click inside our file ok now save with ctrlo enter and uh, ctrlex to exit ok uh, you must type these commands with the user you are going to connect through putty in my case uh, I'm using Fabrizio Sta. Now type this command. Now we must uh, close uh, Putty and reopen it. load supinfo now go to ssh auth and here browse ok as you can see we are authenticated with public key now 
this is all for now. I would like to thank you. Bye bye.